Hello students, in this video, I am going to continue explanation, uh, line by line explanation of chapter 5 from class 11th book, uh, Hornbill, uh, chapter titled The Ailing Planet, The Green Moments Rule. So in this chapter, we are discussing about the bad health of uh, our Earth planet, our planet Earth. And basically, uh, we are discussing that uh, what damage we are uh, doing to the Earth, uh, of, uh, all entire uh, human population and how we can improve the situation of the earth means how we can improve the health of the earth it means that uh, whatever the things we are distorting uh, here how we can preserve them and how we can provide those all the things to us and to our future generation now uh, we are going to discuss uh, uh, about our constitution and uh, that let's see that what our constitution says to our, uh, about our environment and our, about our planet article 48a of the constitution of india provides that so in the article 48a of the constitution of india provides that uh, there is a rule uh, okay that is mentioned in article 48 so actually it is a kind of uh, rule for all of us that we should uh, all should follow uh, and let's see that what article 48a of uh, constitution of india says let's see uh, within double inverted commas whatever it is mentioned so uh, that is uh, mentioned in the constitution about our environment the state shall endeavor, it has written in the article 48a, under article 48a in the constitution of India, that the state shall, shall endeavor, it is the responsibility of the state government and state people that uh, we should endeavor means uh, we should uh, protect, we should try to save, we have to make, uh, you have to do effort, endeavor means efforts, we have to do efforts to protect and improve. To protect also and to improve also means to develop also the environment and to safeguard and we have to means we all have it is written in the in article 48 of constitution that we all have to make effort to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard means we have to save them we have to try to we have to try to keep them uh, safe okay protect them again safeguard means protect safeguard the forest and wildlife of the country and we have to uh, make our best effort our level best effort to protect you know, the forest uh, okay that means trees and we have to protect the wildlife means living wild animals in the forest also means it is there is it is our moral responsibility it is our moral duty as per the article 48 of the constitution that we have to make effort to protect and improve the environment and we have to uh, keep safe the forest as well as wild animals living in the forest it is written in the 48 a of the constitution but what causes endless anguish but author says here but what is the reality whatever it is written in the constitution but reality is something else but what causes endless anguish author says that there is a problem which causes endless anguish means anger you know a kind of disappointment means we are being very 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 disappointed endless means there is a kind of disappointment in our life that is endless why is the fact that laws are never respected not enforced in india there is a very um, huge problem in india basically it is the law it is written in constitution that we have to not only protect the environment we have to make them uh, improve also and we are we have to try level best to uh, to protect the to preserve the forest and the wildlife but what is uh, a very uh, you know that a very sorry matter about our india that laws are never respected that indians never respect law and nor enforce India means law is not respected by the Indians and nor nor those, those laws made by made for the different various purposes are uh, good in a good manner enforcement implemented means the implementation of the law is also not very good in India and the people don't don't respect uh, laws as well this it's a very huge problem that we Indians don't believe in uh, respecting laws we don't respect law we most of the time we uh, do uh, we we boil out the last for, for example uh, uh, while we drive it is necessary to wear helmet and uh, so many things uh, uh, underage uh, um, uh, children uh, youngsters can't uh, they can't do drive, driving uh, if they are less than 18 but we all uh, uh, more than two people can't sit on the on a, on a uh, bike but we uh, but what we do we all uh, disrespect the laws this is a law that we should not do so but we do so and laws are laws are not very good very nicely implemented in india because of the officials officials take bribe and they are they don't uh, implement the rules effectively for in instance when, uh, there is an example actually is, is students that uh, how the um, laws are never respected or not enforced in india for instance the constitution says that 
casteism or constitution says that casteism means uh, difference on the basis of caste untouchability untouchability okay that in in which people believe that i am the i am from the upper caste and that the, the person is from the lower caste and uh, i i should not touch that man so that is called untouchability and bonded labor and bonded labor means uh, you can't make a person to work at your place with forcefully means a person can work at your place but he or she will work at will means you you can't make them slave but that is called bonded labor shall be abolished means it is a rule that our constitution says that casteism untouchability and bonded labor means forceful labor uh, forceful if you are uh, asking someone to work at your home and you are not paying also to that man that should be abolished means that should not be practiced but they flourish seamlessly even after 44 years of the operation of the constitution but author says here but they flourish means these all the things casteism untouchability and bonded labor and including these many things also child labor and others also they all are flourishing is developing okay rather than decreasing in the society these all the bad practices they are increasing in the society and seamlessly means people have don't same also they don't feel same also and they are doing it seamlessly even after 44 years of the operation of the constitution even after the 44 years has passed and our operation is working effectively because this chapter was written in 1994 students that way it is written in 44 years uh, later so it was written in 1994 this uh, chapter and that's why author say that even after 44 uh, as we know that our constitution was adopted in, on 26 january in 1950 so author says that even after 44 years of our constitution is adopted and working we are working as per our constitution but is still uh, there are so many bad practices are still in our society and even even today nowadays still uh, there are so many bad practices available in our society a recent report of our parliament's estimates author gives example here that a recent report of our parliament's commission actually estimates says that uh, committee uh, has highlighted means the parliament estimate committee that is called uh, the parliament inquiry committee uh, type of uh, it has highlighted the near catastrophic depletion of india's forest Uh, it has written that uh, it has been mentioned that catast catastrophic means illegal depletion means dis uh, uh, dis uh, disappearing means forest are being cut okay by uh, us by the human being illegally with a very very huge speed of india's forest over the last four decades means in last four decades means in last four decades because author is talking about from 1950 to 1994 so that is four decades a decade is a 10 years duration call so it has uh, the uh, parliamentary committee had mentioned in its report that the forest are being uh, uh, have been uh, illegally cut in the last 40 years on a very huge scale on a very large scale india according to reliable data and whatever the reliable data means trustable data and the confidential data is available is losing its forest at a rate of 3.7 million acres a year means it is a data that india is uh, losing its forest 3 points acres in a year large areas officially designated as forest and 3.7 million acres actually in a year and large areas officially designated at forest and uh, it is true that in in paper it has been written that at that place there is a forest but uh, originally there is no forest the trees has been cut only in the paper that is mentioned that there is a forest large areas that is called a large areas officially designated means officially mentioned in the paper as forest land are already virtually treeless basically already they have become virtually means uh, uh, almost uh, uh, treeless means there is no tree means in the paper it has written that there is there is forest but in reality the forest has been cut and some industry or some in, uh, some re rehabilitation areas have been developed there the actual loss of forest is estimated to be about 8 times of the rate indicated by the government statistics and the actual rate of forest disappearing is 8 times plus rather than it is mentioned in mentioned in the government official reports that is 3.7 million acre a year it is mentioned in the government record but according to uh, 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 estimate or a uh, guess uh, 8 times plus means uh, almost uh, 26 to 27 million acres forest is disappearing every year means 3.7 is official but unofficial it is more than that a 3 year study using satellite and aerial photography conducted by the united nations united nations has uh, that is one un united nations has conducted has uh, you can uh, uh, you can say that uh, they have developed a 3 year you uh, a uh, 3 year study of uh, satellite they they studied the in environment of this planet 
through satellite pictures and through aerial photography means photography by aeroplane and others by helicopters and others so as for the three years uh, photography organized by uh, united nations through satellite and aerial photography report says reports warns that it is giving warning that the environment has deteriorated so badly that environment has been deteriorated damaged so badly that it is critical in many of the 88 countries investigated and in this three years study of satellite picture and aerial photography 88 countries were recovered okay means means in 88 countries this uh, study was continued this study was done and it has been uh, told in the result and the picture suggests that in many of the countries which have been investigated uh, in these 88 countries um, i think the situation is very very critical means the earth situation is very very poor there can be no doubt that the growth of world population is one of the strongest factors of distorting the future of human society so now here author is discussing about the population growth that is which is a very strong a very big problem of india also in india whatever problem it is unemployment or whatever it is that is uh, just because of overpopulation so author says that we cannot deny there is no doubt that the growth of population world population is one of the strongest factors it is one of the biggest reasons actually distorting means destroying the future of human society and because of that the human society is being destroyed it took mankind more than a million years to reach the first billion now author says that it took mankind human being took more than a million years to reach from 1 million to 1 billion okay means population from uh, 10 lakhs to uh, 100 lakhs it, it took million years to reach from 10 lakhs to 100 uh, lakhs but that was the world population around the year 1800 means in the year 1800 the world population was 1 billion that is 100 lakhs uh, sorry uh, that is 100 uh, uh, actually uh, that is 100 crores basically 100 crores okay 100 crores yes 100 crores so that is 1 billion that was the world population around the year 1800 so, and it was the uh, means uh, 100 uh, crores were the population of, of, of all the world around in the year 1800 by the year 1900 means just in 100 years duration a second billion was added means from uh, 10 crores to, uh, to from reaching from 10 crores to uh, 100 crores it took million years but from reaching from uh, 1 billion to 2 billion it took only 100 years so a second billion was added and the 20th century has added another 3.7 million and while from 1900 to 20th and means another 100 uh, years duration the population increased so rapidly that another 3.7 billion was added means up to 1900 it was 2 billion world population in uh, 2000 the world population become 3.7 plus it's been 5.7 billion it began the present world population is estimated at 5.7 billion and around 200 uh, 200 because it is written in 1994 so author said that about um, this time the world population is 5.7 billion every four days the world population is increased by 1 billion and every four it is estimation that every four day fourth day the world population increases by 1 million means uh, you can say that almost 10 lakh people are added in the world population in every four day fertility falls and income rise fertility falls and income rise basically um, uh, if fertility will fall means if the population population will uh, that is uh, fertility means population here if a uh, population will in, uh, decrease because it is increasing so we are in bad condition if population is, uh, will decrease then income will rise or income will in, uh, per capita income will increase education spreads and then education will also spread and health improves and health system also means it is depend on population if population will, dec will decrease our income will rise our education will spread better and our health systems will become strong thus development is the best contraceptive thus development is the best con contraceptive means uh, contraceptive is a method by which we can control population so um, here author says that development is the best uh, contraceptive to control the population but development itself may not be possible but development is also not possible if the present increase in numbers continues if the present increase in numbers means if the present increase in population continues then development will not be possible the rich get richer and the poor beget children the rich people are being richer because they are thinking about the family planning they have family planning and the poor people are getting uh, they are being beget means they are being more poor which condemns them to remain poor and because poor people are getting more children and that's why uh, they are getting more children and that's why they are being they are they are condemned they are caused to be more poor more children does not mean more workers it is the it was the ancient thought that more children means more workers actually the more children means more workers but on the other hand merely more people without work basically more children is not only more workers 
it is more people without work means unemployment is increasing it is not suggested that it is also not suggested author say that we are, we are civilized human are human human being are civilized and it is not suggested it is not good also also that human beings be treated like cattle that we should be treated like cattle like the uh, animals and compulsory till sterilize and sterilizing is a process by which uh, a person will not be able to uh, it will not be able to increase population sterilizing is a process that is done with the animals but author says that we are not the uh, cattle we are not the animal and it is not necessary for the government that we the government should have caught us forcefully and uh, the government should st start at sterilizing but that because of that we will not be able to increase our population but there is no alternative to volunteer family planning but there is no option author said but there is no, government is we are human being we are civilized civilized so it is not good that we must be compulsorily sterilized but this is our uh, moral duty that we have no alternative means we have no option to voluntary means to our self will means we have to take self decision of family planning without introducing means if you are not going to introduce family planning uh, self okay an element of coercion then it will happen that an uh, element of coercion that you know that uh, 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 pressure okay an element of pressure will means we will have to take pressure we will have to take responsibility by our own self and we have to adopt family planning the choice is really between control of population basically we have choice between the control of population and perpetuation of poverty means if we are if we want a better life we have to control our population otherwise the perpetuation of poverty means the power see poverty will continue perpetuate means it will continue the power poverty will uh, the people will be forced to live in a very very poor condition bad condition thank you students next part and uh, including question answer i will discuss in the next video